Hey guys, how's it going? It's your host and friend, Douglas Little Drown Boy Cosplay, and we're back with another unboxing. So guys, it's been quite a while since I've done a Buckethead unboxing. I've been getting in Buckethead pieces pretty regularly for the past few months, and nothing's been super significant or crazy enough to where I would deem it worthy of an unboxing or even cool enough. Uh, most of it, even I've shot unboxings on and then just deleted the unboxings. But today, I have a couple of special items for you, and I'm sure you guys are going to love to see this stuff. I know I'm very excited about it, so let's get right into it. For the first package, we're not doing an unboxing, but rather an unbagging. Oh, and you guys know, I always hate it when companies or people or eBay sellers send their packages in plastic bags. Well... With this, hopefully it wasn't damaged. So let's get right into it. All right. So here we have a very, very special piece of Buckethead history. And this is the red, white, and blue 90s KFC jacket. This thing is awesome. I've always had like an affinity for old 90s windbreakers. I remember growing up with a lot of this type of shit around. I always thought it was really cool. And, of course, Buckethead does as well. There are some awesome, really iconic pictures of Buckethead wearing this. And uh, he wore it in the studio some, and I think just backstage it was just a jacket that he had in general. As you can see, KFC logo on the front, red, white, and blue pattern. And then on the back, we've got the giant 90s KFC logo. And, of course, he's got that beautiful Jackson KFC KV2. What an awesome guitar, what an awesome setup, especially with all these together. This jacket, that bucket, and that guitar, I really wish he had, like, worn this more. But sadly, it's just one of those weird buckethead oddball items. But one popped up, and the Mask Hunter alerted me about it, and of course I had to grab it. Um, this thing will probably just be a piece for the collection, or maybe a future Anakin look. But for now, it's just a jacket that I'm probably going to fold up and stick off in the collection somewhere. So, you know, nothing too crazy, but these things are pretty rare, so I thought you guys would enjoy that. And you're going to love the next item. All right, and we have one more package, and this is one of the weirdest Buckethead items, but also one of my favorites. Alright guys, we've got it most of the way unwrapped now. Tell me. What do you think this is? Those of you at home, comment what do you think is in the box. All right, let's go. All right, we finally got it unwrapped. Here it is. Yes, the Finger Puppet Theater. All right, so I'm sure some of you know what this is, but I'm sure a lot of you probably don't. This is a great, great example of just a really weird, obscure prop that Buckethead has used and just made it cool. So what we have here is just some obscure children's puppet theater. You know, it actually did come with all the puppets. The person who owned this on eBay did have the complete set. So I have all the puppets as well. But these are pretty hard to come by. But Buckethead had this and he used it a few times uh, for something pretty fucking weird, but also pretty awesome. He essentially took the hand puppet Herbie and did a live performance of the Ballad of Inside Out face where he's just taking Herbie and thrusting him through the theater at different times. <laughs> But something interesting is Buckethead always used his backwards, so you always see it from this angle, and that gets rid of all of the frilly, eccentric shit on the backside here, and it's pretty much just straight to business. I'll go ahead and put a clip of this in use now. So yeah, as you guys can see, just really weird, obscure shit, but it's pretty badass. I think out of all the Buckethead collectors, I was actually one of the first people to find one of these online. However, it was just a bit too much at the time, so I went ahead, sent it to AJ, and let him pick it up. Uh, it was a little bit cheaper for him because of the estimated shipping costs. It was going to be like $40 just to ship to me. 
And I can't really see myself paying $40 shipping for, you know, this little theater. So yeah, went ahead and let AJ get that one, but I've been wanting one ever since. It's one of my favorite Buckethead props just because it is so weird and obscure. And of course, I love Herbie and anything that has to do with Herbie is awesome. So I'm definitely glad to find one of these after such a long search. Well, guys, I think that about wraps it up for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you had a fun time. I'll give you guys some close-ups of everything and have a great day.